Hi everybody, welcome to Mars, back to Mars again. Uh, hey, I wanted to uh, give a quick thanks to uh, Jim Vandenacre. Uh, he was the one that suggested that we go to uh, Ganymede. That was a fun place to go. I'm um, looking forward to getting some more pictures from there. And also I want to say uh, Metalhead uh, suggested that I go to uh, the Perseverance pictures and uh, look for some things, and uh, which I've been doing. I've been having trouble finding good pictures. I know they're out there, but right now the pictures are pretty bad. But uh, even, uh, even with the crappy pictures I'm looking at, I can tell it's the same thing as Gale Crater. Uh, it's all the same stuff, guys. It's all the same. It's uh, really bizarre. But anyway, uh, this is a uh, picture, a satellite picture, looking at something that they call becquerel layering. It's supposed to be a, like a mud layering um, uh, episode or, or, or picture or place in the picture. And it's obviously doesn't have anything to do with any kind of uh, mud layering, right? Uh, these are uh, structures, and this is a really complicated place and not unlike all the other places uh, it's uh, it's population density it's all about that there are so many uh, structures here and we've seen all the ones down in front look towards the top of the screen where the white structures meet the dark structures and uh, they kind of silhouette each other and uh, you can see pretty clearly exactly the shapes of those buildings and there's quite a bit also of these uh, stair step designs where the buildings go up uh, one after the other. And we see with those structures or those, those uh, groups of structures, uh, you see the, uh, the checkerboard look. So you get the very reflective uh, white uh, or light colored, I guess, uh, maybe sun reflecting off the roofs, not really sure. But it does give you that, that checkerboard look which is uh, very distracting to the eye. But that's the way it is, nothing we can do about it. Look right in the center of the screen here, is that not an enormous building? Actually, I think it's probably two, maybe three structures, but either way, they're all enormous. They're the biggest buildings in the whole picture, in the whole area. It'd be interesting to know how many square miles this satellite picture is. And you know, look at the look at that picture there. Why do they build stuff that looks like this? Why do they go through that trouble? And we've seen the other pictures of the, the dunes. I mean, there's all those uh, really crazy dunes, uh, all different kinds. You know, ones with spots, uh, some with other kind of markings, that tortoise shell look, may, maybe silvery. Uh, just the fact that they're looking like dunes. I mean, why the hell do they do this stuff? I can't even imagine that. Uh, but you know, that's, that's the thing, right? It's hard to imagine because it is alien, period. It's alien. It's uh, different from anything that we know. And uh, it's really hard to get your mind around what it is you're looking at. But you can literally sit here and look at every single individual building in these pictures. Um, you know, I say over and over that yes, it is in black and white, and yes, it's two-dimensional, but there's enough clarity there to really see every single structure. And of course, not unlike every place else, um, there's no ground here. So look at the buildings coming down from the top of the screen over from the one two o'clock area some fairly large buildings coming down there and these this is layered structures right I mean these are uh, buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings which is of course what we've seen uh, not only on Mars but uh, on Venus and Titan and also Ganymede so this is uh, this is what they do and this is how eventually a planet will get completely covered, like Venus, Titan, or Ganymede. Mars isn't there yet, but uh, give them a couple hundred million more years, they'll probably have the ground completely covered. But one thing's for sure, they do build on top of each other, so it creates these uh, thick mats of buildings. So when we're looking at what we think is the top, well, and it is the top, but it's the top of 
you know, millions of buildings and it goes so far down. It's really almost like a beehive mentality, you know. Um, and I guess it's population density because they know the direction they're going. They have to make uh, they have to make do with the space they have, and so from the very get go, they're going to uh, they're going to pack them in tight and um, allow for the many trillions more people living there. This is a really cool picture here. Now again, you have that the stripes coming across. This is the leading edge of the mat, I believe. And look at the buildings in front of the uh, of the stripes. You can see very clearly some big buildings, structures standing up there in the foreground. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, well, I mean, obviously, uh, all the buildings up on, on the very top as well. So, Right here we see the foreground, the um, leading edge, and the top of this, of this mat of buildings. And uh, you see the, obviously with these stripes, you see the white, the white lines and the black lines. And the black lines are structures in black. So they're making them have this, uh, this striped look, which uh, according to NASA, you know, has the look of these uh, becquerel mud flows. The complexity of this, then the complexity of everything they do in the structuring is, uh, well, there's no, there's no new words for it. It's, uh, it's just really amazing and hard to, uh, to grasp how they would how they would do all this. Time heals all. I mean, I guess if they had to figure things out, they figured it out many millions of years ago, and now everything goes together like clockwork. This area we're looking at right here is a very busy place uh, compared to everywhere else. I mean, it's all busy, but uh, some a little bit more than others, I guess. Uh, you know, once again, if you wanted to, you could spend the time and pick out each and every individual building in these pictures. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you know the point is it's clear enough to do that, and uh, you shouldn't allow yourself to let your eyes just glaze over when you look at this, uh, because you know you'd be missing out. If you look at the top left uh, quadrant of the screen, you see all the stair step structures going up there, one after another. And usually, that's what we see leading up to the leading edge of these uh, mats, but uh, maybe it's just filling in an area right now, who knows, who knows. Uh, it does look really cool, it always reminds me of uh, some kind of temple or something, but that's not at all what it is. And also uh, mentioned in the caption for this are these uh, black dunes uh, that are up above the, uh, the rest of this, and uh, you know, these black dunes are just like the other dunes that we've seen. Uh, they're not dunes, they're structures, they're dark structures. Uh, look at the uh, center of the screen, just to the left, uh, closer to the center now. There are two smaller black, uh, we'll call them dunes, sections of dunes. But you can see the fact that they're, they're structures and they're, they're very clearly defined by the whiteness around them. And the transverse is true as well. So, the white you can see the white structures um, silhouetted against the black structures. So they kind of complement each other. And up towards the right, you see a big long line of the stair strip structures coming on around. Um, you know, this kind of picture when you lose your perspective, it's really hard to. Uh, fully understand how everything comes together here, but uh, regardless of that, you can still see uh, see the buildings. And again, the white structures are silhouetted well against the edge of the black structures and vice versa. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's just so strange. I've said many times Mars is a 
very, very strange place. Uh, so far, completely unlike anything else that we've seen. Uh, it seems to me that Martians have more of a personality than the other places because they do stuff. I mean, it might be crazy stuff, but they, you know, they build some amazing cities. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.